Hey guys, Classic Homer here, and welcome to Let's Nuzlocke Fire Red. If you don't understand what that means, you missed the... I had enough. I think, what was it, like, SMBX Invasion 2 Part 32? Yeah, if you missed that, then, uh, well, a brief explanation of what a Nuzlocke run is, is when you play through a Pokemon game in what is kind of a hard mode style. You can't revive any of your Pokemon, Poke Center or otherwise. If it falls in the battle, you screw it up. You have to ditch it somehow. I'll be stuffing all the Pokemon I let die into a box of the computer, and at the end of the game we'll have a nice collection of corpses to look at later. And the other big part of a Nuzlocke run is that you have to catch the first wild Pokemon you run into in an in area. And I'm adding a few extra things to that, like, well, I am not going to collect duplicates. So if I run into a Rattata in, what, like Route 1, and then that's the first thing I run into in Route 2, I'm going to skip that one and catch the next first thing I find, which, you know, whatever. We'll figure that out as we go. I'm sure you, that the viewers are going to be watching me like hawks and keeping me honest anyway. If I try and pull a fast one on you guys, you're going to be like, YOU SCREWED UP! YOU'RE LYING! Which, yeah, well, if I do that, then catch me on it. I don't intend to fudge anything on this. So, of course, I am Homer, as everyone watching this video should realize by now. And, you know what? Given all... let's see. Uh, oh, I don't think it'll fit. You know what? We're going to try. Given everything that this guy's been doing for me in my videos, let's see if I can't make his name fit. Hmm. Let's see... Jurichi or Juricho? Well, whatever. It's close enough. It's Jurichio, if you couldn't figure it out from, uh... You know, him being in damn near every video I upload these days. So, he will be my rival for this. Which, actually isn't that uncommon. We always... I always seem to name my rivals after him anyway. In the actual games that we played. So, let's get started. Oh, one thing I always liked about this is the main character has an NES in his room. Classy. And, of course, everyone should realize that the first thing you do is have a really slow scrolling text. Now, you go to your item storage and withdraw your potion. This will be incredibly important for this run because, uh, well, <coughs> I may get unlucky in the first fight. I want to do a couple quick things with the options. First of all, that should be fast. That should be L and R. And I think that's everything. I don't care about the sound. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, hopefully this run will not be, you know, too disastrous or anything. It's not like the original games were hard. So let's get out there and get ourselves some Pokemans. What? Damn it, old man! Don't bother me, I'm about to walk outside with the stick, beat the crap out of the first Pokemon I see, and force the fight for me. That's how things work around here, isn't it? What? No? Well, fine. Now he's gonna take me back to his lab and rape me, I bet. Creepy old bastard. Uh, and here we get introduced to the rival. And Oak's just going to ramble on and on like an old man. If the text is going by too quickly for you, pause. I'm not going to read it to you, and honestly, it's not that important. Besides, I think anyone watching this video has probably played the crap out of these games already. And as we all know, all three of the starters, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander, are all great in their own ways. I have a personal preference for water, so I will be taking Squirtle. Yes. 
Haha, <laughs> the first Pokemon. Easiest thing in the game to get. And, you know, I thought about nicknaming them, but I'm just not creative enough to do it. I'll worry about nicknames and different games. Not that I'm saying I'll play the other Pokemon games. Then we'll find out. Yeah, right. We'll see about that, buddy. In fact, we'll have to see about that right now. The game's going to throw us into our first fight. Something of a tutorial battle with the rival. And, of course, it's, uh... It's really not that difficult or anything. And, once again, the old man must ramble. Uh, I suppose it's a good thing, though. Because, if you're new to the game, it's nice to... Oh, wow! I just realized I have a female Squirtle. That's pretty rare. That's like, what? A 25% chance of happening? <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, you growl. Whatever. I don't care. I'm just going to keep attacking you until you die. It's going to be really embarrassing if I get hit with like a critical hit in this fight and fall right in the very beginning of the game. One for LP! Yeah! No, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Well, you know, I shouldn't speak so soon. Nah, there we go. Haha, <laughs> tackle's such a crappy move. Okay, so good. That's how battles work. You just pummel the shit out of the opponent until they go down. Ooh, 3 HP. Nice. Yeah, unbelievable. I win, and I take your monies. I wonder what that symbol's supposed to be. Because you know how... Yen, uh, yeah, yen. Currency in general has a symbol. This one is like a P with two dashes through it like the yen has, and it's Y, I think. And I don't know. What do we call those? Poke dollars? Pokettes? Pen? I don't know. And I'm pretty sure after the first fight, yep, the game automatically heals you. So that's nifty. And, well, as you can probably guess right now, you start with pretty much nothing. You know, there are no Pokeballs, I can't catch anything. So I'm not going to apply the stipulations of catch the first thing I find until I have Pokeballs. So for now, we're just going to move on. Right on through Route 1. And, ooh, cool. Random battle. Uh, Rattatas. They are... What? Incredibly easy normal types? Pretty much the first trash mob of the game. Also, if anyone's wondering if this is going to be like a good complete walkthrough, the answer is no, not really. I'm doing this, this series for fun. So, if you want to watch something that will tell you what's coming up everywhere, find all the items and do everything perfectly correctly, uh, don't watch these videos, I guess. If you want to watch something that's just fun... No, I'm hoping this will be fun. It'll be fun for me, at least. But, not to give, you know, probably the most famous LP or any more uh, publicity than he's already got, but if you need a good walkthrough of this game, check out Chugga Conroy. He does some pretty good stuff with that. So, well, we're moving right along level-wise, holy crap. And we learned our first uh, type-based attack. Or, you know, an attack that has a type that isn't normal. And... You know what? It should probably at least take a moment to explain how that sort of stuff works. Because this is one of the games that came out during the third generation of Pokémon. So... The attack and special attack split hasn't happened yet. So that attack I just got, Bubble, is a water attack. And in general, all water attacks are based on your special attack stat. So it's going to be up in the air sometimes about whether or not it's the best attack to use. I also think its power is pretty low. I know in the newer games it's only 20. Let's see about this one. You can just come over here and select it. Yeah, power 20. 
so that sucks. It's weaker than Tackle is base-wise, but Tackle has a chance to miss, so screw Tackle. I'm probably going to be bubbling everything I see. And now we have a fetch quest, basically. I have to just head right back to Oaks. I think I'm just going to cut this part out because there's a safe path through uh, Route 1. So I'll just see you guys back at Oaks Lab. Okay, we're back in Pallet Town, so let's head on into Oaks Lab and deliver this pointless parcel bullcrap. Hey, old man. Here's your crap. Yeah, sure, I'm talented. Whatever you say. What he doesn't know is in three episodes I'll fail miserably and have everyone die. What? Uh, goody. More explanations! MORE EXPLANATIONS! And now we're going to be given what is, I guess, the biggest side quest of the game, which is the Pokedex and filling it out. We're not going to be doing that. Not by any means whatsoever. <laughs> because that would be ridiculous, especially in a Nuzlocke run. Yeah, we know. We can Pokemon so you can catch them more easily, blah blah blah. You guys talk a lot. Oh, and their, uh, the rival just gave us a hint, Jurichio. Gave us a hint about what we can get, a free item, which is pretty useful actually. I'm just gonna stop in real fast and get it. This is Jurichio's house, and that is his sister. Let's go hit on her and seduce her into giving us the town map. Or she'll just give it to us of her free will. Whatever. Okay, with that, we can actually, you know, take a look at what the rest of the game has to offer. Alright. Route 1, again. Actually, you know, I never talked to this guy. I'm pretty sure that, uh... Yeah, there. Talk to him and get a free potion. Homer got the potion. Okay, here it is. The first random encounter since I've got Pokeballs. Pidgey. I like Pidgeys. You know what, let's try and soften up with a bubble attack. Also, for mostly fights in this game, uh, unless something really interesting happens in them, I'm probably going to cut them. Because I'll just come back in, like, right at the end of the fight, so you guys can see that, you know, I haven't taken too much damage and nothing's died. Unless you guys really want me to keep every single fight in, just to, you know, make sure I'm not doing something crazy like save states. There we go. We got a Pidgey. Yeah, Pidgey! I always like Pidgeys. They're not as good as, like, the Starly family is in the newer the Diamond, Pearl, Platinum games. But, uh, they're pretty nice. And now that I've got that... Oh, crap. Really, game? Really? As soon as I turn around, I have to fight another Pidgey. Uh... Oh wow, Tackle is doing a lot more damage than um, Bubble is, especially when I get critical hits. Wonderful. Okay, well, what I was going to say is I'm going to head back to uh, my house because if you talk to your mom, she'll let you sleep the night or something, whatever. Your Pokemon will get fully healed, which is really important since I just caught that Pidgey and it's still near death. Because when you catch something, it stays at the uh, amount of health that you left it at. Also, for the grinding in the game, because there's definitely going to be some grinding, uh, I really do plan on uh, just cutting that out. Or, you know, doing it off-screen. What I'll probably do is I'll set the recorder going, so it records everything I do off-screen. And if something happens, like if something dies while I'm doing a training session off screen, I'll show you guys so you can laugh at me. <laughs> laugh at my misery, jerks. Yeah, whatever. You guys know I love you. So, what I'm going to do now, since I've caught the first Pokemon and I don't really. I can't catch anything else before moving on, and. I would rather have my Pidgey just a bit stronger before I go rushing off into the quote-unquote unknown 
you know, I kind of played the game a bit, I know what's coming up. Um, I'm going to grind. And I'll see you guys next time on Let's Nuzlocke Fire Red. It's Classic Homer, signing out. Have a good night.